thought I'd have a little walk and film a little bit more of the uh, home of Robin Gibb because I've had an awful lot of interest in that video um, and I know a lot of the people that follow me have had a few questions and wanted to see more. Obviously it's private so I can only show you what I can show you from the road or from the field at the back here which is obviously public property. Uh, so yeah, that's that's not his house, that's the neighbours. So his land sort of starts here with this orchard. And then goes all the way down to what used to be the road over there. And then past the church. It's a nice amount of land. We've got these little pillars here, which I guess might have been maybe gates or something at some point. I'm going to apologise for the wind now because it is a blowy day. Just about to see the turrets on the top of the house over there as you come round this way. The house starts to come into view a bit better. Keep coming round a bit further. His grave is still being visited. There's an awful lot of cards and bits there at the moment. So, there's sort of garage area there, car under a tarp. Lovely old building. They've got play swings and stuff in there now, which I assume is for the grandkids, because his kids will be adults themselves now. A few years younger than me. Kids of their own, no doubt. I really don't know if you can see on the wall, right up there. Where is it? I can see it from here. Is a G for Gib. Uh, behind there it is. The branches move. The top of the house there. Excuse the wind. I'm filming this on a day when we have storms due, which is probably not the wisest time to be filming. That's the gardens, or some of the gardens. there is part of the gardens. That is part of the main house where Robin lived when he was alive. such a peaceful spot.
light right. So there's a house in the distance behind the greenhouses. This is from the main road section. Stables or something over there. For all the people that have said Robin's grave is not big enough, showy enough, tended enough, my video has had all the comments. Can I just point out that in the UK, we don't tend to do huge. But that's his sticking out proud above all the others. at all it's tastefully done and yes there are some dead flowers on there and there's some plastic flowers on there but each time you come there's more things some things have been taken away some things have been added there's loads of cards there some are relatively new and some of them look like they've been there a while and there's some bleached but all his fans still come and visit there are tombs here but we're talking centuries and centuries old. This is how we celebrate our dead. The size of the tomb doesn't mean anything as to how much they were loved or the contribution they gave to the world. Because I guess once they're gone, they're gone. And it's in our hearts and our memories, it's where they are. The tombstone is secondary. So his tombstone is definitely more than anything else here.